broadcast live. We out here, where the hell are we? In the balcony. <laughs> yes, Doing sir. the damn thing with the hustler. What up, G? What's up, man? I'm good, yourself? You know, I'm always good, man. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. Once we're taking my calls, man, you know. Yes, sir. Always yeah. coming. Is your phone hacked or what? Is your phone hacked? Are you been on voicemail? Yeah, my phone is hacked. It's like for the fourth time this year alone. Wow. Yeah. Are you using the same number? Yeah. It's funny how I never changed, you know, for business purposes. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, you know, they've been having Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. So you've been out here, I mean, I think a lot of us have seen um, your, a lot of your commentary on social, you know, um, I, I guess it's been a few months, you've yeah. been just talking about how you want to, um, how you, how you feel like, um, I mean, there was a, a free empty hashtag that was out there, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, I want you to kind of, kind of take me to, where's all this coming from? Well, you know, at some point, you know, it's like a, it's like, for example, like growing up as a kid, at some point you want to move out your parents' house. At some point you want to be independent, you know, because you want to explore, you want to do your own thing. So there, that, that was where I, I was coming from with it, really, you know, to say the freedom could be away from controversy uh, from just my name being dented really because I've been made to be this villain you know and it's cool because of who I am and what I do you know um, plus I'm in the trap culture it's a lot of not so good things happening there, you know. So that was just me, man. Like I was just telling the public, hey, free me from all this, man. I just wanna, you know, carry on making music peacefully. Really. Yeah. I don't wanna have to now rush to the studio because uh, I want the people to start thinking good of me again. You know, I don't wanna go to the studio and make a song and stress about it. Hey, must make a song to get the uh, people's love back or something like that. So it was like, hey, I don't have beef with anybody. Any beef that's there is crafted. Really. Mm. So free me from all that. Like, just leave me alone, basically. Mm. You know, uh, let me deal with my career. Let me deal with uh, what I got going on. You know, I want to be free. Be with my kids, without any, you know, um, controversy. Mm. Because a lot of people always miss the point, really. They forever miss the point. And I get people who, who, are, who are not even on my level telling me I fell off. Like, what mm. you mean? You still got to get 20 plus awards mm. for you to tell me I fell off, you know? For you to have the nuts to say that, you know? yeah, yeah, but yeah. I get told by people who who even ask me for help. Mm -hmm. They ask me for help today, tomorrow they say I fell off. So I just wanted to be free from all that, really, yeah, because it's it's pointless. So you say that it's more public speculation because yeah. I guess one would have assumed that if you wanted a conversation to be freed. Everybody's assuming that you're speaking about free MT from the label, right? So one would assume that that's a conversation you'd have with the label. You wouldn't need to take it to Twitter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, even that, really. If, if people think that, then that's what it is, too. Because, you know, as I said in the beginning, I want to grow, I want to expand. I don't want to be taught for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. I want to teach also mm. what I know. Mm. I'm not really smart like that, but it's a lot of knowledge I can share. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um in this journey though you've also said that you uh, you wanna focus the last time I, ch I chatted with you, you said you're gonna do less um, empty, you're gonna focus on African trap more. 
Yeah. Um, is that a decision of you actually saying that, is that a decision you want to take? You really don't want to make music anymore? Or is, is it because there's still a situation that you got to kind of get over to be able to get back into music? Yeah, man, I, I really like to give ATM my focus, really, because that's my business, that's my company, you know, that I started with Ralph. So, um, during the time where a lot of things were said, a lot was going on, I had, I had made a decision to just sort of ignore what's going on and, and, and try and focus on, 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 my, on my gang, you know, um, for that time being. Not that at some point I won't focus on it again, but as I'm saying, you know, it's my business, you know, and I want to get it up and running, you know, in full effect. And I, I, I sort of figured that it, it, it's not as easy as I thought it would be, you know. So I'm undergoing all those processes where I, I have I, I I have to make ATM, you know, something tangible. Yeah. yeah. You're sitting in a situation where I mean, what you told me earlier, and you said that you haven't done interviews in close to uh, sitting or like a couple of months or something. Yeah. Um, but there's been a lot that's been written about you in the yeah. papers. And um, I think you also just tell me about how how you it makes you uncomfortable because it's focusing on on your family, on your children, on things that like are, are not even, on people that are not on stage. Yeah, <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Why do you feel these articles are being written without you giving input? Are you trying to reach out to these people writing these articles to kind of go, well, but here's my story, you know, have, yeah. you, have, have, are you, have you tried to reach out to kind of give the other side or is everybody like um, deaf to it? Well, you see, me, me, I'm a trapper, so I don't like anything that has to do with snitching. Mm. And I feel like, um, okay, so therefore, I don't really have a relationship, you know, with, with um, not to offend anybody or anything like that. But uh, I, I always felt like me just staying away from journalists and, and, and stuff like that. I respect their work. Don't get me twisted or nothing. You know, even with, with what had, had been written, I wasn't really mad. You know, uh, they have to do what they have to do. You know, um, so these articles really, I, I wasn't given an opportunity really to speak for myself. And yes, I did try to reach out, you know, you know, everybody knows me, I'm a tweet, I stay on Twitter forever, so I even DM some of these uh, people, you know, like, yo, what's up, no response, no response whatsoever, you know, so I don't have their personal numbers or nothing like that, because I'm a trap, I don't, I, I have nothing, you know, in relation with someone having to leak certain things about me, so I, I I don't have combos with, with them peoples, but at that time I, I so wish, you know, that I had, you know, connection with these people. So I can just ask them a question one-on-one, -on -one, not even say, hey, this is my side of the story now. Nah. Just to say, hey, was this said by who and, you know, why, stuff like that. Just so I can get peace of mind with myself as well. You know, because I, I, I was waking up to, like, things being said. And at, at some point, someone said I said something. I was quoted. And I'm like, oh, nobody called me. I didn't say that. And it, and it leaves me in a place where I feel like, how? Oh, now, just because I, I sing and I make music and, you know, I jump around on stages, am I not valued as a human being? as a person to say hey this person is a human being because my son Avery goes to school now you know who knows I'm not there during school hours to see how other kids treat him mm. or I don't know if the if his teacher reads the newspaper mm. you know so it's like it was a bit unfair and unnecessary really because I'm a musician, let's talk about the music. Okay, let's talk about even the legalities or whatever that has to do with what I do. 
I have my son, my wife, and my son Logan. They don't make music. Why are their names on the paper? You know, so it's like, that was weird for me really. And on top of that, no opportunity or interview was given to me to say, hey, are these things true or not? Mm -hmm. So yeah, man, it was really just, it cut, it cut deep really, not not for me, for the people I love, the people I care about, you know, and it leaves people in a place where they, they themselves don't know how to feel about me because I'm not even coming out and saying whether it's true or false and that reason is because nobody's asking me that. People read and then come to me on some what do you know? You know? People come to me on some I was a strong boy, classic, classic. I'm like, even people that I know personally, it's like, oh, bruh, you know me. Why don't you sit me down and say, hey, certain things are being said, blase, blase. You know, so, and it's, it's like now the whole world knows my business. Not, not, not the real business, but they have insight, you know? So, yeah, it's just crazy, it's crazy. I never thought it would happen to me. So to remove the veil, you know, because, you know, when there's a veil, you always like when you're getting married to somebody, you don't, you, and you've never seen them before, you're always assuming, looking through the veil, what they're going to look like. Yeah. So let's remove the veil, you know, and let's remove the speculation. Yeah. Like, from even what people are impressionable. Mm -hmm. That's the problem with newspapers. They reach people, most people are impressionable, right? Yeah. And yeah. Um, so what is the, what is, where are the fake facts or is there something that's close to the truth that you like, wait a minute, how did that even come out? Yeah. You know, wh wh where are you? Are you between a, that's 100% fake facts, but wait a minute, how did that come out? You yeah. know what I mean? Wh where are you between those two parallels? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm still, you know, to this day, asking myself how and why certain things came out. Um, you know, because I think also, just as a human being, before, like when, 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 when I was winning awards, doing all these great things, uh, these people would call me, but obviously I, 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 I don't say their names because I don't need to call them. So they used to call me, hey, congratulations, ha ha, blase blase, whoopie whoop, uh, leave a, what do you have to say? You know, at that point I was, I was cool to say anything really because it was a bright moment in my life. But now I never thought they would, uh, Kanye West me like that. I mean, this is South Africa. I mean, that's why a lot of uh, uh, these uh, local ads tell me this is South Africa. It's not America. Okay, cool. If it's SA, then you know, show some respect, regardless of what you think. You, mean. you know, so I'm at a place where I'm still confused, but I'm yet to find out. You know, so tell me, what's the one thing on the top of your head that that's out there that is not true that you want to go, that you want to actually just mention that is not true? I mean, people are impressionable. Yes. You oh you 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 the master of the narrative around you. Yeah. You know, people can you can tweet. You got 140 characters. Um, people already feel like okay, this they, if they feel a certain way about you, they feel a certain way. It's never going to change. Yeah. But when they see you and hear you talk and you kind of go, actually, this is the narrative. Mm -hmm. What is it that you felt like you saw and you were like, I don't believe this is going out about me and it's not true, that I think you can actually communicate here, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I did have issues with the label and whatnot. I don't see how those issues got into my family because my parents were involved at some point, uh, stuff like that. So. Stuff in like the newspapers, yeah, or, yeah, yeah, in the newspapers, you know, and it's crazy how 
Well, what was said uh, was that. Sorry, I don't read the news. I don't read that. Oh. I, I don't read that shit because <laughs> because of, because of exactly that. But yeah. like, I mean, yeah. you can clear it, and yeah. I know not a lot of this to everybody doing it. Like you're saying, everybody got to live. But you know, hey man, the white system that literally puts black people in the front, but other black people down. It's I don't get. It. But anyway, go on. Yeah, man. Like, so stuff that was said about my wife being a gold dealer. And I'm asking myself, which gold? Because I'm not rich. And she been with you before all this? Yeah, she was with me when I didn't have the one rand in my pocket. You feel me? When I, I, I didn't have a home. You know, so she used to sneak me in at a crib. Mm -hmm. So now suddenly it's turned into a gold dealer. And now I must walk in I must walk in my home where my wife and kids are to find my wife sad there sitting down saying such and such has been how do I even explain that? I'm thinking I'm coming home after a long day of hustling, you know, going to see my kids, going to see my wife and boom in my face, just like that. So it's like it was it, it, a lot of those things were just a slap in the face, really. And a lot of them weren't true, really. Like uh, uh, the, the car situation. Because me, I can tell you today, the only car I own is the car I bought my dad. You feel me? The car you bought your dad? Yeah, that's the car I own. So I don't know what's going on with them other whips. I don't own them. Hope y'all got there. So, because of that, now I'm putting I'm put in a position because I had crashed the wheel. And I only got to find out when I crashed the wheel that it's actually not mine. And it was said that I requested a car or cars. I ain't requested no car. I'm a hustler. I like to earn things. I don't like to ask for things. I don't like favors, you know. So, yeah, the so cars. The car you crashed to does it belong to? I only found out, you know, as I said, after the accident. I Me, mean, I was thinking, ah. Uh, I was in an accident, I almost died. Uh, nobody even cared how I was after the accident. Mm -hmm. Nobody. Nobody. And um, when was that, that, that damaged me a little bit. It was earlier on this year in January. You know, so I can say I started my year on a bad note. Mm -hmm. Because after that, I went to the hospital. The people like the people who came to see me in hospital, like encounter with me with this one hand. Mm. People who came to see me. So it's like there was it, it, it didn't it didn't it's like people don't believe that I was in a car accident. It's like people think I planned it or did it on purpose. You know. So, I don't have a car. My car that I own that is under my name, which I recently came to terms with, is my dad's car. I'm here right now in the city, Ubery. And I'm cool with that because I come from these 10 toes of mine. You know? So So who did the car belong to that you crashed? Uh it belonged I I can say it, it belonged to the lady. Okay. Yeah. That's that's my that's how I see it. But it hasn't been said that no one has come to me and said, Hey, I'm the rightful owner. Yeah. But like where I see it and the way the papers go. You know, song name. Broadcast live.